Hey kids, welcome to lesson 13, introduction to arrays, number 18, displaying information to the user. Before we make our application interactive, we we'll want to practice creating some simple user output. When the app starts up, the first item on your list should be displayed. Let's write the code that will display this information to the screen. We have a do this. Using set text, set the main text area to show your first favorite thing. Using set text and list.length, set the text indicating what item of the list the user is currently viewing. Hint, since arrays are zero indexed, you will have to add one to your index to generate the correct value to display. For now, you can just write in a one and worry about making it change later. Note, neither of these outputs will be able to change yet. Don't worry, we'll be taking care of that in the upcoming exercises. Well, that sounds pretty fun. Our two big to-dos are using the set text feature. And what we wanna do, we want the text in here to set to whatever your favorite thing is. So we have to write some set text in there. And then we want to change what item we are on. So one of 10, two of 20, whatever. Two things we are going to change right there. How are we gonna do that? What we're gonna to need to do is to set text. So if we go down here and we go down to our set text and drag it out, I know I need an ID and the text we want to do. The idea is the area. And for me, that is text area. And we want whatever text in there to be displayed. We don't want it precise, so I know I don't need any quotation marks. And ultimately, what I want to do is display my array. That means I can put my array in there, favorite thing. And let's index that right now to zero. That means the set text of text area should be set to whatever is in my fave thing zero. Fave thing zero, because it's index zero, one, two, should be my Chevy Volt. Now we have to set the text of my little array tracker there. I know I'm going to need another set text, so I can drag that in. And we want that to be called array tracker. So I can set the ID to array tracker, because that's what I want to change. In here, what do I want it to say? If I look over at the design and click on it, the text just says zero of zero. I can take that out right now, but I do want it to display something. And I want it to say something similar to that. If we look back up here, we know under the hint that we're going to have to generate the right thing in there. So we're going to have to put a one. Right now, if we put zero, it'll just say zero of whatever, and that's not going to tell us it's working. For right now, we're just going to use the number one. One of what? Well, we can use a string in here, and we can use our list length. Since we're adding things in, we don't want to hard code it in. I remember that from one of our previous lessons. If we're going to keep adding things, we want to use whatever our array is, dot length. Our array is fave thing dot length. It's going to display something up there. What do I think? Well, it's going to say one of these favorite things. It's either going to say two or three, depending on how it counts. Looking at my code, though, what I'm doing is setting my text area here with my favorite thing and my array tracker up here also with something. Let's try out my hypothesis and see if this works. When I hit run, I should see Chevy Volt and one of something up here. 
Chevy Volt comes up, and it comes up one of three. In this instance, it counted three right there. Pretty neat if you ask me. Let's see if we can do anything. Any next? Nope. And we can't add anything because we haven't even programmed these buttons in yet. Looking back up at our do this though, we use set text to set the main area of the text there to display one of my favorite things. And then using set text, we use list.length to create whatever number we are on. And why did we use dot length? That's so we don't hard code anything in and we can keep adding to it as we move forward. I think that's all code.org wanted from us in this lesson. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next one.